Okay, now we're going to learn about expanded form. Now, expanded form is taking a number and it's writing it a different way using basically an addition expression. Okay, I'm going to add the value of each of the digits. All right? So I don't need an equal sign necessarily because it's not necessarily an addition problem. It's just using an um, addition sign, writing an addition expression to show the value of this number by adding the value of the digits. Now, this number, I have the underlined blue and green, is 36, 3 tens and 6 ones. Now, if I have 30, or sorry, 3 tens, 310, the value of that is 30. Okay? So if I have three groups of 10, I have 30. And six ones, well, six ones are just six. So an expanded form, 36, is 30 plus 6. I took the number in the tens place. Add a zero to it because three tens is thirty, and the ones there's no zero at the end of my ones. Okay, so thirty plus six. If I had, let's do another one real quick. If I had four and eight, four and eight, I would come down here. Four tens is 40. Four groups of 10 is 40. Okay, quick easy way to remember is if I take this four and put a zero at the end of it. And in my ones place, eight ones is just eight. So 48 is 40 plus eight. Well now let's look at one that has three digits. Ones, tens, and the hundreds. Okay. I'm going to do it the same way. I'm just going to have a hundreds place digit now. Hmm. So, two hundreds. Two groups of one hundred. Two hundreds is two hundred. Okay. Oops. I need to put a plus sign there. Three groups of ten. Because three in my tens place. Three groups of ten. Ten, twenty, thirty. And seven ones. Well, seven ones just like having those seven one cubes. So it's seven. 237 is 200 plus 30 plus seven. Way to check is if my hundreds place, I have two zeros. So number the hundred has two zeros. Tens place has one zero, and my ones place doesn't have any zero at all. Let's try another one. Let's try 500. 24, so there's 5, 20, and 4. Let's let me get rid of these real quick. It's not 237 anymore. The value of 5 hundreds, if I have 5 groups of, hundred, of 100, that value is 500. Like we said, we could check by seeing if there's two zeros at the end of it for the hundreds. My tens, two groups of ten, is twenty. And four ones is just four. Five hundred twenty-four is five hundred plus twenty plus four. In my hundreds, I have two zeros after the number in the hundreds place. In the tens I have one number, or one zero after the number in the tens place. And I don't have any um, zeros after the number in my ones place. Okay. So that's how we do expanded form when we have numbers in the ones, tens, and hundreds place. Well, Now we're going to try these ones in the thousands place. Okay, 1,243. Now, if I have one group of a thousand, one thousand is one thousand. Okay, and numbers in my thousands place, I have to have three zeros at the end of them. My hundreds, move this over a little bit. If I have two groups of one hundred, that is 
200. Four in my tens place is 40. The value of four tens is 40. And the value of three in my ones place is three. So those three little cubes like you learned in the last video. So my thousands have three zeros in front of the, behind the number in the thousands. My hundreds have two zeros after the number in the hundreds place. My tens have a zero after the number in the tens place. And my ones have no zeros at the end. So 1,243 is 1,000 plus 200 plus 43. Okay, so expanded form is like a long addition expression. It's not an addition sentence because we don't have an equal sign at the end of it. But I take the value of every digit, and if it's in the thousands, I put three zeros at the end of it. Okay, because a thousand ha is... It's three zeros. The number in the hundreds place, I put two zeros at the end of it because the value of two hundreds is two hundred. The value of four tens is forty. I put one zero at the end of the number in the tens place, and I don't put any number or any zero after the number in the ones place.